check out the rose, or at least me. I'm about to check out the rose in 2022, bro. It feels like it's been, when was the last time I checked out the rose? I think it was red. I think red was the last time I checked out the rose. Hold on. The, I want to check before I continue. Actually, we're about to check out the rose and their slow childhood. La 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 la. I see the new Evo. Jump that jogging going on gossip. Red was the last time I checked out the rose. It was the day it dropped, and it was in 2019. Um, it's been quite a while, but they are back. But this is not the title track, I'd say, unless they got like two songs that they're like naming. Obviously, this one they gave them V for it. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's two. I forget the name of the second one, but Childhood is first. I know Childhood was the first one. Um, they even like released the life stick and everything. They're like really going forward with everything right now. Um, I know very vaguely what the Rose went through. I won't talk about it, but it's so good to see a band come back to make music. Just an artist that used to make good music come back to make music. And the thing is that they have dropped music prior to right now. Um, I believe they have a song called Beauty and the Beast or something along those lines that came earlier this year. I actually meant to follow, I think, uh, Usung dropped music that I meant to react to. And then when Beauty and the Beast dropped music, I meant to react to it. But my attention just gets yanked in so many different directions that I ended up, I'm not gonna lie, I ended up forgetting. Um, so the music that I have missed between Red and Now that I haven't heard, I'll probably just listen to on my own because I want to. I want to. Uh, English, man, though. I don't want to promise reactions um, that I may not get to because, like I said, my attention just gets going in different directions, and I just tend to stick to those directions sometimes. So um, right now we are here for what they dropped today, which is Childhood. I haven't heard anything of it. I've just known that it was coming. Let's go right into it. All right, the Rose. Oh yes, y'all doing everything. I love y'all. Let's go. The Rose Childhood. Haven't heard nor seen potential concept picks or any audio. Oh. Oh, that voice I have. Imagining all kinds of sad things. Dreaming about my life. I haven't heard this voice in such a while. Wow. So possible then. Now I don't even dream. Sick of feeling love again. Oh. Mm. forever since I heard his voice bro like honestly and things I have I heard have I listened to like the Roses songs or even new song like here and there every now and then between Red and Now yeah but it's like it's on new music it's my first time hearing new music in a very very long time from the Rose and just like Usung's voice as well it's very nice by the way like the MV What timing? For you to waste your time on re 
Should be is just like so like I don't know like I'm saying should because I feel like it's appropriate when it comes to the rose bro like they the way like you listen to them and I'm sure people who are like hardcore fans of them just personally just believe that right like you're happy with like the success they achieve but you just feel like they should be bigger that's how I feel when I hear them bro honestly and like I'm telling you it's been a while it's been a while for me hearing them on like new music and stuff. And a song like this, the song is like, it's so real. Ready for you to waste your time on regrets, bro. Don't live like you have a thousand years, bro. Holy shit. It's like, like I'm picking it up as like, you know, like when you're younger, like you dream and he literally says in the lyrics, like everything seemed so possible back then. Like when you were younger, like go on and grow up, I want to become this. And then also having like the imagery of like, when he talks about like being older and almost like a bit more like would weary be like weary tired like, like, I, for some reason weary came to mind like maybe not pursuing the same things that you saw yourself that you believed as a child was like so reachable attainable and things you wanted to do like low aspirations maybe like once you're older like don't let go of that that part of you back then that wanted so much for yourself you know or that felt like everything was possible i don't know that's how i'm picking up when i'm sure there's like a direct meaning for it but that's how i'm feeling it dude it's so cool to have them back doing music and like i said they have released music um but i haven't been keeping up with it so this is nice this is nice and i do think i don't know i'm 100 sure that this is just either a pre-release or just another like lead single that's going alongside with uh inevitable title track I guess so whatever that may be hopefully I'm around and I'm able to get to it on time when it drops this was good so nice hearing his voice again both of their voices and just hearing them on new music Girl, I'm your candy. Keep 